Hey guys, how are you today? All right, we are going to um, <laughs> we're going to open this up. So I recently watched Jerry Bellini's uh, video on how to get a uh, Verde Gris finish on copper, and actually she found out subsequently that I think it works on a few other different kinds of metal. Also, if you want to know exactly what she did. Um, I'm going to link her video in the description, so check it out. While you're down there, the links to my Etsy shop, my tip jar. If you'd like to support my channel by doing one of those two things, it would sure be appreciated. Um, also, the links to my Facebook groups um, and my happy mail address and all this stuff. It's all down there, so check out the description before you leave the video. All right, so I followed her directions exactly. This has been sitting for about a day. I it was really hard to not keep peeking at it. Um, it was really, really difficult. So we're going to open it up and see what it looks like. This little cup that's sitting here in the corner has ammonia in it. The pieces were soaked in vinegar. I sprinkled some kosher salt at the bottom, coarse kosher salt. I put the pieces after they were soaked in vinegar on top of the salt, sprinkled a little more salt on top of it. You have a little cup of ammonia here. You seal it up tight, let it sit for 24 hours. That's the short story. Again, go watch Jerry's video. First thing we're going to do is take off the lid and I'm going to go dump the ammonia. So I'm going to do those two things and I'll be right back. Okay. Oh my good lord, look at this. How is that just not fabulous? Okay, so because <laughs> it just totally is. All right, I'm going to show you um, what these different things are. These are uh, plumbing um, pieces from the hardware store, as is this one over here. Um, and these. These are from the plumbing section of the hardware store. They're made out of copper. This is copper wire bent and twisted into little circular frame shapes. This is um, sheet crafting copper you can get at the craft store. I got it at Hobby Lobby. For whatever reason, it was over by the doll parts. I don't know why. Um, but it's 36 gauge copper. It comes in a big roll. And let's see where I put mine. Because, you know, I put it away somewhere. But where is the away place? It's <laughs> a really good question. Oh, here. <laughs> so the copper comes in a roll like this and this is from Hobby Lobby. Now it was $13.99 for a roll. It is 36 gauge and it is 12 inches by 30 inches. There's a lot on here and um, I used a coupon. Of course, use a coupon. Don't pay full price. The copper wire, I got two different gauges. I got a thicker gauge, which I made into the circle, and that was a 16 gauge. And then I got a thinner gauge, which is 20 gauge. Um, these are both from the hardware store. Um, again, look by um, where they have their wire, and um, I found these at Orchard Supply Hardware um, by the wire and picture hanging supplies. Don't know why it was over there, but that's where it was. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is ignore the beeping of my computer. <laughs> and we're gonna take these pieces, we're gonna dip them in some water to stop the process, and then we're gonna gently pat them. Gently, I don't wanna, I don't wanna mess with all this goodness that's on here. So cool. And I'm gonna put them on the cookie sheet next to me so that they can dry. bottom of that. How cool. I don't know what I'm going to use that for, but it would be really cool on the front of a journal, I think. I don't want to rub it too hard because I don't want to take all the fun, um, distressed blue color off of the pieces. Okay, let me turn my computer off. Hold on. Okay, this was a little scrap I had from making some shapes. 
and I decided to cut it into a frame shape and then um, bend the edges and then stick it in here and look at that. Is that not the coolest thing? It was super easy. The hardest part is leaving it sit in the in the, in the box without peeking. Like it's really really difficult to not peek at what's going on. So I'm going to rinse all of these off and I'm going to set them here on this cookie sheet next to me to dry. When they're dry, I will probably spray them with some kind of a fixative so this yummy, luscious blue color doesn't come off because, you know, how... just, I mean, really? I don't want that to come off. <clears throat> I love these little frames. I mean, this was a shiny copper. It came straight out of those rolls I showed you before I stuck it in here yesterday. So I would encourage you all to go over and watch Jerry's video. It's a really great video and it is a really fun technique full of really good information. This was again super, super simple. <clears throat> we are having construction done on my house so now if the plumbers are here and they have extra copper scraps probably going to be saying, um, can I have that? <laughs> They're going to think I'm insane, but that's all right. Wouldn't be the first time. So now I have this wonderfulness. Look at this cookie sheet full of wonderfulness. And once they're dry, I can spray them with the fixative, and then I can use them on journal covers, um, canvases, all, I can picture them on all kinds of things. So check her video out, uh, see what you think, give it a try. I will tell you, number one, the ammonia really stinks. Heed her cautions, you do not want to mix ammonia with the vinegar. You, you want to just set it in here, and then you don't want it to tip over. Um, you, if you're sensitive to smells like I am, you probably want to use a respirator because ammonia, again, is really stinky. You probably could save that and let that dry because wouldn't that be, oops, fun on something. <laughs> I don't know. Um, and so heed her precautions, but it's an easy technique. It doesn't cost a lot of money. You can use found objects. Go raid your husband's spare parts out in the garage. That's what I did for some of these pieces. That's it for today. Check out the video description for all appropriate links and don't forget the most important thing go out and have a great day do something nice for yourself because you deserve it and i'll see you later